What's up, gentle folk? Welcome back. It's your old pal Chicken Vulture here, bringing to you the next episode of my Witcher 3 Let's Play 100% playthrough, including all the DLC. And since last episode, we have reached the beginning of the quest line into Vizima. We are currently in the palace of the Emperor known as the white flame dancing on the graves of his enemies or hmm, some french name i just can't be bothered to remember i know if i'm going to be the lore guy question mark i should think uh to remember these names so let us check and see here yes there we have it i'm here var emres blah 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 few names in the continent's history arouse as much terror and respect as that of Amir Var Imrais, Dithwin Adon in Karn Ip Morvud, or the White Flame Dancing on the Graves of His Foes. There we go, foes, my bad. And we'll leave the rest of that to your imagination. You can probably imagine what it says. And if you check out my uh, reading vlogs, I will be uh, taking the time to read books, and I think I should branch into uh, reading character descriptions as well. Speaking of reading, hmm, that's a little bit too much for what I'm going to try to condense into uh, 30 minutes or so. Speaking of which, uh, the last episode was much longer, and I think it's because I did it on a weekend, and you know, I, you know, my day job is nine to five, Monday through Friday ish type of job, so I have a lot more time on the weekends to record, and I'm just very excited about doing it and get carried away, and you know insert excuse number three here uh so yeah i'm gonna try during the week to do shorter ones and on the weekends do longer ones uh my ability to adhere to stringent rules and constraints however uh is legendarily lacking so we'll see how long that lasts so you can expect episodes to last anywhere from 30 minutes to two hours and hopefully that sort of semi-chaotic, semi-organized method does not irk anybody. Uh, but I digress. Alas, let us begin the next episode. So I believe she had mentioned I should talk to the ambassador. Yennefer suggested I ask you yes. about current events, the war and so on. Of course. The Emperor's servants should keep no secrets from each other, if you will. Let us approach the map. All right, let's update ourselves on these politics. How's the war going? I mean, apart from the fact that Nilfgaard's triumph is imminent. I assume this to be a private conversation. We've no witnesses, so let's dispense with the propaganda, even that shrouded in irony. Our offensive was going splendidly until winter came. Edern was in such disarray that we encountered no resistance. We had reached the Pontar before the first snows. Only a weakened Kedwin remained, and Radovid's Redania, which had ignored the rest of the North's pleas for help. We thought they'd sue for peace, perhaps even submit to vassalization. We waited for spring, certain of victory. Radovid? Submit? Yes, a vain hope, I agree. Radovid sent no peace envoy, nor did he advance on our positions. Instead, he trudged over the snow-bound Kestrel Mountains and attacked Kedwin, his ally. This attack took the Kedweni by surprise. They were still mourning the loss of their king. Rudderless and dejected, they laid down their arms after a few lost skirmishes and joined Radovid. And so by spring, instead of two weak enemies, we had only one powerful one. What about Kavir? Kavir values its neutrality. Enough not to lend its armies, or more importantly, even its coin to either side. Returning to the war, this spring there was a massive battle in the marshes of Velen. Massive, yet indecisive. Both sides suffered enormous losses. Unprecedented, even. 
The Radovid has retreated across the Pontar. He's safe for now, until reinforcements arrive from the south. Then Emperor Emir Var Emrys will deal with him once and for all. Couldn't you just go home? Save everyone a lot of marching, not to mention a few human lives. I'm afraid the stakes are too high to fold now. We can only go all in. Hmm. How do things look in Velen? As bad as ever. Perhaps worse. This land never flowed with milk and honey, and now it flows with blood. Armies have swept through it several times. Trampling fields, looting granaries, burning villages. Famine grips the populace. Mm -hmm. So how's ruling that earthly paradise going for you? Not well, to be honest. Our forces are spread thin as it is. And Velen is chiefly swampy forests that are difficult to control. We've had several patrols never return to their camps. Thus, we've temporarily delegated authority in this region to a certain Nordling, a former low-ranking officer in the Temerian army, one Philip Strenger, better known by his nom de guerre, the Bloody Baron. I advise you, the well, Bloody Baron, avoid him. <laughs> avoid him. Sure, we'll give that a shot. Any news from Novigrad? Is the free city still free? Yes. Although everyone knows this won't last. Radovid is in Oxenford, and the Emperor is here in Vizima, at Novigrad's doorstep, both. And both require coin and ships. And Novigrad can provide these. Which is why the mood in the city is rather... Well, on edge. Meaning? How do men deal with fear? They seek reassurance. And scapegoats. The Church of the Eternal Fire understands this perfectly. And so it promises to improve the lives of its flock by pointing out the guilty. Who started the war? Who profits from it? Why, it's obvious. Mages, elves, dwarves, in a word, any and all deviants. I've been stationed in Novigrad for 13 years. First as a consul, then as ambassador. I've seen a great deal. Cruelty, cynicism, greed. But what is happening there now concerns me greatly. What's new in Skellige? Nothing. The islanders pride themselves on that, don't they? Doing everything according to tradition, as their forefathers did. And like their forefathers, they quarrel with each other pillage occasionally attack our transports this is cumbersome but nothing more Skellige has always been a footnote to history and so it shall remain yeah if you say so sound awfully confident what if King Bran manages to unite the Jarls lead all the clans against your fleet King Bran is a feeble old man from what I know he barely remembers the names of his own vassals uniting all might prove difficult Well, all right. Thanks for your help. Think nothing of it. May the great sun light your path. I like this guy. He's very pragmatic. Oh. He attempts to understand his enemies so that he can use that knowledge to defeat them, you know? He doesn't see them as the other, the stranger, the devil. He sees them as obstacles. You must understand in order to overcome. Scars healed nicely. Oh man. I gotta stop taking books that I have already taken. So yeah, we're trying to loot this whole palace because there are lots of books and just interesting things. 
that are some times of value, sometimes just neat, unique items. Oh my god, if I don't stop picking up these books. And I cannot open my inventory, great. I gotta stop picking up the books that I've already picked up. And to do that, I need to remember what I've already picked up. I've already got that one. Never have enough food. Get a nice stockpile going so you never have to buy any. How might I serve the gentleman? Uh, give me my shit back. Yeah, what he said. Citrus and cloves. The fragrance will keep the gentleman's robes fresh somewhat longer. Mm. Thanks, Bunches. The Emperor is not known for his patience. He wants his daughter back safe and sound, as soon as possible. Yeah, mention something of the sort. So long. All right, so you can see we've got a quest over there. Is it true? Northern women bathe but once every three moons. I believe that will always be available and is Gwent related, so we will definitely return to it. I'm sure a year from now when I'm still doing this, someone in a comment somewhere will remind me of it. But I will not forget nonetheless. What do we have here? What? Is this what just opened? Did that start a quest for me? No? Well, we've done enough dialogue and looting and reading to last us a lifetime in this episode, so I'd really like to clear this place out. Thanks, bro. Uh, in a timely fashion and then get the Get the heck on out so that we may begin I saw you clearing out the next area. Yeah. Oh, is this locked? Okay. Well, I think we've looted all that we can, folks. So we're going to go ahead and proceed. Northern women bathe but once every three I don't know, man. Not keeping track of the bathrooms. Geralt and Yennefer would be united. But something even more important happened in the Zima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one time ward, had returned from afar, and she was in danger. He was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest. Behest. It's a fun word, isn't it? At Yennefer's behest. Alright, not so bad. Doesn't look too dreary right now. Ah, well. Who saw that coming? Who could have known? Doing the heart of stone yet? Nowhere near high enough for that one, folks.
Just gonna follow the road. And pick up some of these. Let's see if it gave us any quests. Alright, we got Wild at Heart. And... A new marker. Then both forces attacked, one from either side. Cavalry sweeps it from the brink. We don't have any points to spend, do we? Oh, we do. And a red mutagen? No, always green, okay. What do we have here, folks? If anybody listened to the reading blog, then... What do you want? Well, no, not to trust this Rejoice, man. Rejoice, for even a creature as depraved and base in nature as you... What? ...serve the glory of the eternal fire. Oh, cool. Someone must see to the corpses on the battlefield. Uh -huh. Necrophages defile those not already rotting in mass graves. Mm, this okay. This is not right. Oh, you think That's so? That's to be my good deed for the day. A handsomely profitable one, I might add. I know your kind don't work for free. Oh, my kind. Sure. All right. I'll take care of it. This will count amongst your merits. The more good one works in life, the more hallowed things are. Yes. Splendid. Here are the holy oils. Dash generously and set alight. Understood? I wish it to flare up to the sky. For the glory of the eternal fire and all that. Once I've incinerated the bodies, where will I find you? I shall be near the bridge to Novigrad. All right, so let us uh, make haste to the first quest we're given for the area. We will get to the priest's task in due time. Listen, let us make haste. Let us not gallop any longer, but extra fast gallop to where we need to go. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Oh, a man in need. I got you, bro. Come on, quick! I'm by. Ah. Find me before the next ones come. When they come, I'll tend to them. Meanwhile, let's you and me chat. Like to know who I'm untying. John Verdon, served in the Tenth Maribor Division. Long way from your army. The army don't exist no more. Black ones smashed it to bits, and I scarped off into the woods just before that happened. Join a group of refugees. Fucking bursting with patriotism, they were. As soon as they learned I'd abandoned Tamaria in her hour of need, they beat me down, tied me up like a turkey, left me to the drowners. All right, Fine. I'll help. Oh, thanks. For a minute there, I was almost sure you'd leave me to die. I'd like to thank you somehow, but I'm not a chip crown to my name. Tough. I'll take the loss. Thanks, Witcher. May you prosper on the path. All right. We can get some experience. Okay. Not a complete loss. All 
Alright. So we were heading this way before Faster. being sidelined by our friend there. And here we have some more drowners. And I am actually going to uh, take care of these often enough so that I can collect their brains. dogs. That's all there is out there in the fields. Dogs, dogs, and more dogs. Contract, anything else? All right. Looking for a man goes by Hendrik. What do you want with him? Want to talk to him. What about? Give me a bottle of something strong. Every time I walk into an inn, some gaggle of guys. I'll open the back way for you. Got company. Who is it? In Cape Vodka. Who's this? Sir? Brave warrior looks like. Got two swords, see? Oi, great boy. What's the point of having two swords? Wonder if he keeps an extra prick in his trousers too. You fucking deaf. Gonna say who you are? Or do I need to loosen your tongue with me knife? Let's be amicable. How about I buy everybody around? Why would you? Got the coin for it. Simple as that. I don't drink with strangers. We share around, won't be strangers anymore. Then we go our separate ways. And which way might yours be? On my way to Novigrad. City of whores and whoremongers. To your health. And mine. Bottoms up. Not trying to make any trouble for the innkeep. If you want to rest, come with me. On the bench you can use. I step in the hut, and there's the bumpkin with what looks like his son. That's on the pretty side, I think to myself. Fighting is always the last resort. <laughs> Thanks for not starting a row with those swine. I don't generally poke my nose in other people's business. Looking to stay the night? No. Hmm. I'm looking for Hendrik. Man lives in Heatherton. Don't know where that is. Other side of the hill. Looked that away this morning and saw a strange glow. Imperials on the raid, perhaps. But who knows? Hmm. Anything else you can tell me about Hendrik? Odd fellow. 
arrived from who knows where and for no apparent reason. Shacked up with a widow whose husband was stabbed for a scrap of bread. Baron's men don't like strangers. Aye, he stays out of their way. Always seems to know when they're coming. Always manages to disappear. Thanks, Inky. Well, all right. Let's look for the agent called Hendrick in the village of Heatherton. That's a pretty good snap Come right on. there. Pretty good too, but yeah, we'll we'll just use the first one that we went with. Wonder what's going on there. Some religious ceremony, no doubt. Alright, so... Damn, this place is beautiful right now, like... Hmm... That doesn't look suspicious at all. But alright. Map says head this away. This away we shall go. Just RP galloping while I get my bearings on the place, you know. Air is strange, like dropping into a deep cellar on a hot day. The mist. folks there was just a bit of an inter interruption so we are back at the I believe the entrance to this agent Hendrix home just wonderful wait a minute hold on I was just fighting some dogs off and spoke with this okay <laughs> into a deep cellar on a hot day. Let's mist. give this another shot. Okay, come on. Come on, dogs. Not prepared, apparently. Oof. 
At least I don't have to listen to Dandelion. Never underestimate these dogs, folks. All right. Air is strange, like dropping into a deep cellar on a hot day. Okay. Finish this dialogue. Be whoever you is. Get away. Calm down. Yep, yep. Saw right. this. It's old. Not forget that ever. Okay. Yes, we saw all that. Looking for a man named Hendrick. Supposed to live in this village. Aye, he did. No longer. They nabbed him in that hut. If you'd have heard the cries, sir. If you'd have heard how a man can scream, how he can suffer. I think that was our first death, ironically, to some wild dogs. Tell me what happened here, step by step. They took him, took him all. The sun was waning, see, and the dusk went crimson like blood thought to myself, strange, the toads, I cannot hear them. Save terror through and through. Hendrick screamed. Then he begged. By the end, he could do naught but moan. Oh, hello. Damn it. Weren't here long, the terrors. Yet the village froze like in the heart of winter. You in that hut when they rode off? No. And I'll not set foot there. Never. Farewell. And peace of mind to you. Mm. Mm. Ah, oh, well, so that sets the tone for the main quest in this part of the woods, uh, this neck of the woods, rather. Uh, and I believe we're going to end the episode on that note. A uh, little bit of suspense, never hurt anybody. So next time we will pick up where we left off there and uh, address some of the contracts we've got in our uh, brief travels thus far in Velen aptly named no man's land and as you can see 
We've got a lot more here than White Orchard, to say the least. So we'll be spending a lot of our time together in this part of the world, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, prepare thyself. Skelly goes a long way off. In the meantime, appreciate you checking out the episode. Like, comment, subscribe if you so desire. All constructive criticism is appreciated. I will see you when we get back.